the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and you're going to put in YouTube summary with ChatGPT. It's going to take you here to the Chrome web store. I click this and this is what the logo looks like. Add it to Chrome by clicking add to Chrome, add extension. YouTube and article summary powered by ChatGPT has been added to Chrome. No sign up is required, but you can if you want. I just let it add to my Chrome. Then you're gonna go to YouTube. All you need is one of your YouTube videos to do what I'm about to teach you. When you hover over your YouTube videos now, you should see this little icon right here. It's like the ChatGPT little icon in the top left. If you don't see it yet, just refresh your browser once or twice. I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna click this. Once I click that, it's going to summarize the entire transcript, but I don't want the summary. I'm going to go back up here and you're going to click this, delete this, and you're going to replace it with create a list of powerful quotes from this transcript. The first prompt here is to create a list of powerful quotes from this transcript. Now these are your own words. So this is where the true power of doing this exercise comes in. And then it will generate the list of quotes. These are the list of quotes that it came up with that it thinks are powerful from this transcript. Your network is your most valuable asset. It's not just about who knows you, but who trusts you because when people trust you, they do business with you. That's a great quote. And I did say that in that video. I remember this video really resonating with people, which is the type of content that I wanna repurpose. Now for the second prompt to make it a little bit spicier, we're gonna say, create a list of powerful quotes from this transcript for and you're gonna insert who your prospects are. I'm going to say for founders who want to grow their personal brand and their business. I could also just say for entrepreneurs, but I wanna be as specific as possible. And then I'm gonna click save and submit. Now it should tailor the quotes for the people that I'm trying to reach. So this is obviously a good quote for this audience, now what you could do is you could ask it to be more specific. So you could say, create a list of, you could say 10, and you don't have to say powerful. You could just say 10 quotes from this transcript for founders who want to grow their personal brand. But I like powerful so that it knows that I'm looking for quotes with a punch. So the only difference here is I'm giving it a specific number. We're going to save and submit. And as you could see here, it's giving me a specific number of quotes. What's cool is we could take this and level up and we could say, organize these quotes into a table. Key message quote. I could take it a step further, add a column or what day of the week the quote should be posted based on the vibe of the quote. As you can see here, it didn't put the entire quote into the table. Please put the entire quote into the table, not just the preview. And then you could even be more specific. You could say the columns should be organized in the following order. Column one, day of the week. Column two, quote. Column three, key message slash brand pillar. There you go. It gave us a table exactly how we asked it to, but we're going to take you to the next level. So we're going to remove, create a list of 10 powerful quotes. These quotes will be posted on Instagram. We've given it a specific social media platform to tailor the quote to. So it gave me a completely different list of quotes. 
Now let's take it a step further and let's go actually for LinkedIn. These will be posted on LinkedIn. I'm going to say, please provide a question to attach to each quote to start a conversation with my network. And this is really powerful for LinkedIn. Your network is your most valuable asset because if you were to lose everything that you had today, you could potentially rebuild everything if you knew how to leverage who you know, who knows you and who trusts you, who are the key people in your network that you trust and how have they helped you in your business journey. So these are great little quotes to schedule on LinkedIn and to start a conversation with your network, which is exactly what I asked it to do. The next level of this, create a LinkedIn carousel. And I don't have to do it for the quotes, but I could say from this transcript for founders who want to grow their personal brand and business. Gave me the name of the carousel, seven rules of building your online network and the slides that I could have in each carousel. Then of course I could take this over to Canva. Now what I could do, I could be a little bit more specific with it. The carousel needs to be 10 slides. The purpose of the carousel. Now what I'm doing is I'm giving it a specific number of slides and I'm letting it in on the purpose of the carousel. As you can see here, if you tell it what the purpose is, it will give you the call to action. Another thing that we could do, create a list of quotes from this transcript for founders who want to grow their personal brand. And then I could say each quote needs to be 50 characters or less. And that's short. So I'm basically saying make each quote short. Build your network before you need it. That's a great one. Hope you learned. I have a lot more where that comes from. If this was helpful for you, you should check out this next video where I teach you how you can use ChatGPT to create a lead magnet with just one prompt.